when I became a believer, I was at First Baptist Church in Yucaipa. And there was a guy there who was the voice of the Bible out of Palm Springs. I mean, he would come to the Wednesday night dinners and you'd get together and you'd pray. And when this guy prayed, it was like, you know, uh, Moses. I mean, or, or, or like, I don't know, God talking to you. It was just, um, and so we were going to uh, ask the Father to, uh, you know, you, you just kept your mouth shut. You, I, mean, I mean, I did. I mean, I felt, I felt fairly insignificant compared to, I mean, I was just a new believer and the church was good and all was fine, but the first time that this, uh, that this 40 days of prayer came up, you know, I had, 40 days is pretty uh, special when you're thinking biblical terms and you're, and you're talking about God and the wilderness and the fasting and, and uh, uh, Jesus and Moses on Mount Sinai. And, um, so f I thought that was pretty cool and I, I knew it was leading up to Easter. And so th that, was, that was intriguing as to what it did. But I wasn't sure exactly how the prayer was gonna affect me because I was, I would pray, but when I would pray, I would just pray for, you know, for my kids, and I would pray for my family, and, um, but, but I it never really put a lot of focus on how it would affect me and how I, how I would get involved in it. Something that really hit me, there is the passage that says, Abba, Father, Daddy, you know, and, and, uh, my dad was, uh, he adopted me when he was 50 some years old, so, and it was my mother's idea, I think. <laughs> but, but he was a good dad, and, and, and he did well, as considering. Um, but I could, I could sit in the, he would cross his legs. TV wasn't a real big deal then. I mean, it was all new, and my dad wasn't part of it, but we'd watch wrestling, and we'd watch, uh, Growing up with father, life with father, and, and some things like that, and and he'd cross his legs, and I could sit down there, but I never got up in my dad's lap, and just the th just the idea of being able to crawl up in my daddy's lap and just talk to him—that's just the best thing going.